Welcome to the Air Gun Show. This week I'm going to be taking a look at the BSA Defiant Ballpup, but before that I'm heading out for another night's ratting and this time I'm going to be putting the infrared tube night vision scope through its paces. Right, I'm out on the farm for a night's ratting, or at least I will be once it gets properly dark. Um, and I'm expecting it to be a very good session. Now, Nikki and I have just had a bit of a walk around and we have seen a lot of signs of rats. Um, we've seen a lot of burrows, they're undermining walls here. There are runs, footprints in soft mud. There's a grain store just around the corner. There's loads of droppings, uh, rat droppings in and around there and we've also found a bucket of bird puller. Nicky's put a dough of that behind his ears. It hasn't worked yet, but you never know. Now, back to those rats. I, I already knew that it was gonna be a decent Eden shooting in all honesty, because I came for a recce last night, had the thermal spotter with me, and just in this sort of fairly confined area, there was a heck of a lot of rats. At one point, I think I probably had about 20 in the spotter at a single time, so I'm sure we're gonna shoot a few tonight. Right, kit-wise for tonight's shoot, I have got the Brocock Concept XR. Really nice, fairly light gun. Um, it's accurate, got 13 shot magazine. And one thing that I really like about it for night shooting is it's got the oversized um, drop down side lever, which when you can't see what you're doing, you've got gloves on, it just makes cocking and loading so much more straightforward. Um, I've got that paired with the infrared tube TD50L. Uh, it's an infrared night vision unit, but it also produces um, a really sharp colour image by day. Now, one of my favourite things about this particular unit is that it's shaped like a typical telescopic sight. So, and it also mounts like a telescopic sight. So, the balance, the feel, it all feels very familiar, which for me just makes it for a better shooting experience. Now, Scott Country are doing it with mounts and infrared illuminator for £899 and having used it on the range a few times I'm very impressed with it. Now the tube is able to record video direct to its onboard memory so I'm hoping to use that tonight to capture some of the action. Now I've been told that a firmware update is imminent and that should mean that the image quality after that is even better than what you'll see from tonight's shoot. Now I've also been told that that update should also enable colour viewing by night which sounds really interesting. Now other features are a 4 to 14 times uh, zoom range and a massive runtime of up to 16 hours. I mean all told this unit is absolutely crammed with features far more stuff than I've got time to run through now so the best bet is to have a look at the Scott Country website and find out all about it there. So that's the kit it looks like we're on a really ratty farm so I'm going to find somewhere to settle in and hopefully we'll shoot a few.
what a start. This gun's got a 13 shot magazine. That's the first one rattled through. Been a very productive start to the session. Um, once I'd settled in, set everything up, the rats were back out feeding exactly where they were last night. As expected, they absolutely scattered after that first shot, but there are so many around that I've continued to get more pretty frequently. So I'm gonna get reloaded and get back on it. I'm using the Concept XR at sub 12 foot pounds in 177 calibre tonight, which is perfect for ratting around farm buildings. three from the same spot in pretty quick succession there and it looked like the last one was actually lapping away at the blood from one of the previous kills now there are still plenty of rats on the move so I'm not going to waste too much time talking now
two in a row from by the tractor there. Now there are often times when they just can't resist coming out and having a sniff at their dead mate and it doesn't usually end well. One thing I will say, it has started to slow down a little bit, but I'm not at all surprised. Um, I must have shot more than 25 rats now and any that are still around are going to really start to wise up after a hammering like that. Well, it's really slowed down now, but it was bound to. Um, it's been a cracking night so far, and I've got to have shot more than 30 rats. That's going to have made a heck of a dent in that little colony. Um, one thing I've got to say, actually, is my first night on the rats with this version of the infrared tube, and it's performed brilliantly with the Brocock. It's been a really good combo. Um, and also, up until the tail end of the session, I wasn't even needing to use the spotter because, quite frankly, there have just been so many rats on the move. Um, I've got a lot of rats to get picked up now and dispose of in the slurry pit, but once I've done that, I may just settle in on another spot and give that another hour. Another great night's ratting there and a brilliant performance for the infrared tube. Now next up I'm going to be taking a look at the BSA Defiant Bullpup. Bullpup air guns have absolutely rocketed in popularity over the past five or six years. Now. BSA guns didn't rush onto the bullpup bandwagon, but took a more patient approach. Their eventual first bullpup release was the Defiant, a really solid little air gun which has been around for a couple of years now and retails for £1,049 in this version. The Defiant certainly is compact. Measuring 78 centimetres from butt to muzzle, including the silencer, it genuinely is stubby and it lends itself really well to shooting in the confines of a hide, around farm buildings or even from the cab of a 4x4. Now despite its fairly squashed proportions, it still manages to be a really nice looking air gun. 
something that BSA certainly has a knack for. This meaty little ball pup tips the scales at about four kilos before you fit a scope. Now it's no lightweight, but it's nicely balanced and I actually really like its handling. I also like the fact that it doesn't feel as slab sided as a lot of bullpup air guns. Now the long scope rail is only about 27 millimeters above the bore of the barrel and that really helps to eliminate problems that you might have with cant. The ambidextrous stock comes factory fitted with quick release studs and comes in three options. BSA's black pepper laminate, a really nice natural walnut and this very functional black soft touch version. Now the foreend is fairly short but even with my long arms I didn't find it lacking. The soft touch finish gives lots of grip and that's further enhanced by panels of stippling on both sides of the foreend. Now the same stippling is also present on the pistol grip which has a nice steep angle which gives great trigger attack and it has a large thumb hole cut away behind it that's got plenty of room to accommodate bigger hands. One really nice feature of the stock is the cheek piece, which is really comfortable, and that's not always the case with minimalistic ball pups. I've got to say that on the whole, this stock serves as an excellent handle, and the fact that the rubber butt pad is height adjustable means that you can tweak it to achieve perfect eye scope alignment. BSA has a reputation for making robust air guns that are built to last and the Defiant is no exception. The cylinder is nicely blued and the anodized black finish of the rest of the metalwork is flash free and provides a good shield against mud and blood. This ballpup is fitted with BSA's famous cold hammer forged barrel which is renowned for its accuracy. Now that barrel sits inside a shroud that's equipped with a pretty effective silencer. Now the dovetail scope mounting rail sits above the rear section of the barrel. Um, it provides plenty of clamping space and as I've already mentioned it doesn't tower too high above the barrel. Rapid reloading comes courtesy of a slick side lever system. Now the drop down handle features grooves for improved grip and rotates with your hand. In operation, it's both smooth and positive, delivering really rapid follow-up shots. That side lever system drives BSA's tried and tested 10-shot magazine. Reliably pellet friendly, it indexes very precisely. Now it's housed within the cheek piece, but it sits sufficiently deep and far enough forwards not to get in the way of your cheek as you nestle into the gun. And that's another win for the designers of this neat little ballpup. Filling is by means of a quick fill probe, the inlet for which is revealed by turning the collar at the front of the cylinder. Now, from a full 232 bar fill, the 2.2 caliber test gun returned more than 100 shots at about 11.3 foot pounds. It's consistent too, within five feet per second over a string of 10 shots. Now, there's a gauge at the very front of the cylinder and you don't have to put your face right in front of the muzzle to be able to read it. Bullpup air guns can fall short in the trigger stakes, but the Defiant does not. It's got a two-stage adjustable unit and the only slight frustration is that you need to remove the action from the stock in order to adjust it. Not that this one needed any tweaking. Straight out of the box, it had a fairly typical weight and travel in the first stage before a positive stop and then a very clear and predictable second stage break. BSA has also had the good sense to locate the safety catch well away from the trigger, way, way back towards the rear of the cheek piece in fact. Now, some people may argue that it would have been better positioned a little further forwards, but I think it's fine. And as a hunter, I really like the fact that it flicks on and off with barely a sound. It's hard to find fault with this BSA. It's got a good trigger, consistent power output, a quality barrel, and it feels good in the shoulder. 
and that translates very well when it comes to downrange accuracy. Now in calm conditions and shooting from the support of a bench, single hole groups at 30 meters are a matter of course and it remains much the same at 40 meters, albeit that those groups are just becoming a little more ragged. The Defiance asking price includes a spare magazine, a quick fill probe and a lined hired case. But the most important thing is that it buys you a very good air gun that's a joy to shoot. Now, unlike the many gimmicky ballpups out there with really questionable pedigree, this one is a great air gun in its own right and comes with the reassurance of the BSA brand. Now, the simple fact is that it's just a nice looking air gun that shoots very well. Now, most of the shooting that I've done with it has been on the range, but I can see it being a great performer in the field too. I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this week's episode, but as ever, we'll be back again in a fortnight. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you aren't already a member of the BASC, it's time you joined the organisation that works to promote and protect your sport. Don't miss the award-winning Airgun Shooter magazine. It's packed with hunting features, reviews, tactics and insight to help you become an even more successful shooter. Get your copy today, in shops or online.